Okay, now we're going to release this how-to video, how to put in our uh, Black Tower ink tank refill system for Canon's new printers, the, the Pixma TS series. There's the 50-20, 60-20, 80-20, and 90-20. There's probably a couple more going to come out. It's a very, very good printer. Simple to put it in. I'm going to show you. Now, I've already had the system in. Because I did other videos using this system. But I thought from the beginning I'm going to take it from the very beginning and show you how to set up. All the parts and pieces will come with it. Put on the cannon cartridges because I want to save them. And also want to save these orange clips because they're used for priming. See that little hole? We have a priming tool that comes with the kit that goes right in that. Put it right in there and you pull up. That's the way you prime the system if you run it out of ink. This system is, Black Tower system is the, the best I've seen in 20 years. There's a lot of features. You can't see it on the camera, but there's a lot of features to this that are important, like the isobaric chamber, a lot of other things. Now, we also build it with the new memory hose, because that's awesome hose. And you cannot clog those with ink. And cartridges. I turn the printer off. Sometimes it doesn't come over when you want it to come over. So then I'm going to turn it on and it's going to start to move. Now I got my hand back here in the cord. When this starts to move, I'm going to unplug it. As soon as it comes over towards the center, I'll unplug it. Well, it didn't come over quite enough. That's right, I'll bring it over. Okay, now I can take them out. I'm going to tip them upside down. I'm going to do that, and then eventually I'll put the orange clips on it. Gaskets. Because we're going to replace those cannon gaskets down in there. Now I use a pair of needle nose. I get on there, and then I pull them out. And the reason for that is because when you're using an ink system, it has to draw the ink, so you need a good vacuum. And sometimes the cannon gaskets will leak and you'll get air and then it won't draw the ink properly so we're going to replace them you want to save them put them to the side don't throw them away so you can see it it's kind of dark in there so I, I get in there I get on that rubber gasket I pull it out I see the way it came out short end towards you and long end away from you there are all the colors are the same black is only a little different because it's more round that's what you're going to do. Pull the gaskets in. I'll be able to install the cartridges. All, make sure all the plugs are in. You see, you're going to get a little ink on your fingers if you don't use a pair of rubber gloves. I'm going to lay it down. Now, this right here, you can add this. This is called a safety catch. Um, we're going to offer them on our website. But for the first 50 um, units, we'll probably include it. I'll show you how that works a little bit. Just sticks onto the back of the tank. It protects it from accidentally getting knocked over. Now I'm rocking it. Okay. I stuck that on there. That's to get all the ink out of the isobaric chamber. Now hold it up. Now you're going to have to supply something like this, a little paper clip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze that hose and put the paper clip on. That's why when I'm installing it, I won't have a lot of ink, you know, dripping all over. Or any time you take the unit out, you should do this. You're going to fold it and put that clip on. So I'm going to leave that right there. Now I'll go over to the cartridges here. Now we hold them together with a rubber band, but I'm going to take this red tape off. And then... When I take it off, I'll be able to take the cartridge off. I unsnap from the front, and I slide them off the back. So after we get this tape all off of here, now those orange clips that come off, I'm going to use those on the cannon cartridges. So they're not going to dry out. So you'll be able to keep them. I wouldn't run them empty. I would always leave a little ink in them, so you can always use those for testing. You won't have to buy another set of cartridges. 
There we go. Now, if you get right up front and you unsnap it, then you can slide it off. You should have a paper towel handy because you're going to have to blot in case there's any buildup of ink on the um, exit port of the cartridge. You don't want that spilling all over. Took that one off. I'll set it down over here for now. But you see there's a link right up front there. I'm just going to blot it just one time. And then you're going to do that to all of them. And then we're going to flip them over and we're going to put them in as one complete set. I've had these cartridges in before because I've done other videos. But I clean them off and then I flip them over like this. And I actually go in and put them right on in. Just like that. And I line them up. Now here's where you want to take your time. Slide them on in. There you go. And then, because if you pop the front in and it pops up, it's hard to get these cards out. So once I get in, I hold it, I can hear it snap in. Then I know it's in up front there. Okay, now I hold the hose. And I'm going to slide the cartridges all the way over to the right, like that. And I'm going to run it straight down, and the next thing we're going to put in is the hose, the main hose bracket. I want to shut that off because then you'll be able to see. Hose bracket's going to go right here, right against this frame. I'll put some more light on it in a minute. Then you can see. I'll get. I'll let me get the bracket first. So you're going to peel it, and you're just going to stick it right there. Now this is going to be flush with the outside here, I'll just like that. And if you notice, I push it over, and then it's going to touch right there, right in here. It's going to touch. So that's how far I got to go over. It's flush up front, and it's going to peel and stick just like that. Now I have it in the printed instructions, but it's better if I show this on the camera because this edge and this edge of the printer, the little edge here, that's what's going to line up like that, just like that. So if I can turn some light on again, it's going to be right here. So I'm going all the way over, just like this, and I'm stopping. There's a little cutout here, comes in like that, so it's stopping right there, like that. There you go. So now peel and stick it down. My index finger is holding the front of the hose bracket against that printer right there. And I'm all the way over here to the corner, so you can see. I got it up on an angle, so I know I have it. Now I can put it down, and it'll stick. And I'm in the right, exactly where I want to be. Now I'm going to pull this taunt here, and I'm going to put the hose in the bracket. Then also, I put another one out here, another smaller one. Then on the tank, you have another one. That's to create the loop. I like to do that because that helps with ink flow. So when you come out, it loops, comes up, and comes around. That's called a double loop. It actually works quite well. We've used it in the past systems. So then, see, it's going to straight right on through. That's what you're going to do. Come out. I go through the little cutout here and down into that bracket. I balance the ink tank. So now I can take this clip off. And then I'm going to feed the hose up through this other bracket right here. It just gets it up like that. But you see you make a set of loops. And that actually controls ink flow and backflow of ink. But we built in anti-backflow. So the ink doesn't flow backwards ever. Now I will stuck this on here earlier. I can peel and stick it right next to the printer like that. And then the last thing I'm going to do is open up these little air vents 
to the isobaric chamber. They're, they're going to remain open unless you're going to fill the bottles. They remain open all the time. If you kept them closed, you'd starve the ink to the printhead and could damage the printhead. So you don't want to do that. I brought it out here a little bit so you can see. When I'm going to fill them. I put the air vent one in and I open the top. Now you can see, we have a little window here. You can actually see the ink. So when it gets down to it, it's marked right here, then you want to add ink. Now there's a couple ways you can do it. We have the bottles of ink and then we have what we call tip and pour cap that you can get. And you can just pour it in. You can, if you're really good, you can pour it in from the bottle. Because on these bottles, what makes them unique, they have a large filling hole, but they have a little reservoir around the outside of that hole. So it traps any ink from dribbling down the sides. So you would open this up, that's how large it is, and fill it. Now I prefer to use a uh, syringe uh, and some type of uh, extender to fill a bottle up, but this is very popular. The tip and pour are very popular, because all you have to do is tip it up, squeeze it a little bit, fill it up. They're up on our website. This is all American made ink, this ink is awesome. Yeah. I have to honestly say I think it's I think it's better than Canon, but little um, extended arm from the lid. When you close it, it goes into a little slot right here. So that thinks the printer the printer thinks it's down. Well, we can't drop it all away because Canon has the top lid part goes right down, lays flat right here, right over the top of the cartridges. So there's no room for a hose. So we're going to stand it off about an inch, maybe a little less. So we supply this extension that's going to go right on there like this. You peel and stick it right on. See? Right like that. Now you want this flush with the outside edge of the extension piece, like that. So then it closes down It'll go into the little slot like this. Like that. So then the printer will think it's down. So you're going to peel and you're going to stick it right here to the right side of that. Now I peeled and I stuck it on. Now you're going to watch it drop right down. There it goes. It's going to go right on in there. Now if it's hitting then you can just take your thumb and your index finger and kind of push it a little bit to the back. Then it's going to go down. Okay, there's one more thing we're going to add, and that's the lid stops. One on this side, and then one on this side. They look like this. You're going to peel, and you're going to stick it right there like that. See that screw right there? I'm going to line it right up with that and stick it down like that on this side and the same thing on that side. I line that lid stop right there. There's that one and there's the other one. And this way when you close the lid it's going to remain open like I said about an inch right here. has to be because there's no other place for that hose. So if you closed it all the way that hose will jam up in there. I mean, there's just no way. And cutting the printer is not going to help. Somebody says, well, we'll cut a little bit here. That's not going to help because that whole top lays right there. Absolutely no room. So by doing that, you can still use the ink tank system. Every function still works. I'll even make a copy of this magazine I have up in there in a minute. So now I can plug it in and turn it on. But before I do that, remember... I've got to come over here and open up those vent plugs. Got to open them all up. Don't forget any of them. And then I can peel and stick that next to it. And then I can put the hose in the last bracket. Got this open. I stuck the tanks next to the printer. You don't need that safety catch. You really don't need to use it, but 
like I said, you can get them on our website. I mean, I have some people that use a piece of Velcro, the two-sided Velcro, and stick it to the machine. So that's up to you. The one thing you cannot do is lift these bottles higher than the printer or take this ink tank system and kind of stick it to the wall. Somebody did that, and they had ink all over their carpet and all over the table. You don't want to do that. It's got to be right on the same surface as the printer, not higher or lower. We don't want to go any lower, and we don't go on a higher to do it. Okay. So now let me plug it in, and we'll turn it on. Because I just turned it on. Got the lid down. If you don't have that lid extender on correctly, uh, you're not, it's going to say the top is not closed down. So that will be one of the first things that will pop up. Then it's going to run through a setup here. While it's doing that, I'll show you how to put the orange clips on the Canon cartridges to save them. Because you want to save the cartridges and you also want to save the chip. Now it's going back and forth in there. I shot out a blank piece of paper, which is normal. But this printer is awesome. The quality is awesome. It's nice and small. You can fit it anywhere. And what Canon brought back, which I think is awesome, is the back feed. Now you can use a lot of different types of stock. Put it through there. Show this in the video. If you get the uh, low ink, ignore it. It doesn't mean anything. Don't take anything out. But now all of a sudden it's going to pop up, it's going to say, or it's actually going to show uh, there's a red X and you can't print anymore. Now the easiest way to reset it, like I said, now I ran a lot just to do this for the video. So what I would do is I open up the lid, or I can turn it off and turn it back on, but I'm going to open up the lid. It's going to come over. blinking okay stop blinking close it back up now it's going to go back in again that's this is how you reset it it's simple you don't have to do anything just open the lid let it come over the light will stop blinking close it up it goes back and then it says right here it says the following genuine ink cartridges just press OK. This is what I like about Canon. There's no error codes. There's, there's none of that nonsense that Epson puts out. So if you own an Epson printer, you know what I'm talking about. That's why these Canons are the best. Whether it be the Maxify or now their new uh, TS series or their, their MG series, they're all good. And it's continuing to print out that magazine article. This is normal plain paper. Look at the quality of that. 